All right, Justin, first things first, summertime is extremely important for players to get better, so everybody goes, finds a guy, a trainer, some runs, or maybe focusing on something. What did you do with your time away from the team? Uh, I would just say keep my conditioning up. You know, that's a major part of the summertime. You know, guys kind of like go away and go on trips and kind of like get out of shape. So I just feel like getting my, my shape, like keeping in shape and just keep consistently working on my shooting and my ball handling are the two main things I focus on this summer. So the conditioning was like, were you in the pool, were you on the track? Yeah, pool, track. Sand, like whatever I can find, treadmill, like I just run. And, you know, I just run on the street. So what was the feedback coming out of season one and kind of the expectations coming into season two in regards to the conversations you've had with front office and coaches? Uh, just continue to be an energy guy, do what I do best, and uh, work on my shooting and, and ball handling still. Just keep making it more consistent for myself. You took a giant step towards the second half of the last season. What are you looking to prove here at Summer League? Uh... That I could be consistent, you know, that I'm that guy, like, I, I, I could be a reliable piece of the team and just continue to, to be that dog. Now, your twin will be playing against you as a 76er. How, what's the thoughts and feelings going into that game and playing against your brother in the NBA now? Uh, I mean, that's been a lifelong dream. Obviously, I want to play the same team as him. That's been my lifelong dream, but just to even get on the court against him at this level is just a blessing. You know, and I told him, like, yo, like, if you want to score, just stay away from me because I'm going to lock him up, and it's just going to be a fun game for me, and I'm just going to – I'm looking forward to it. And uh, any expectations you set personally in terms of showing something maybe you haven't shown or impressing a coach upon, like, maybe something he's keying on with this group? And also, I'd like to ask about the leadership role that you're being asked to play while you're here with these guys. Uh, I, I would say just being more of a leader. Like, I feel like I showed that I could, I, I could shoot. I can put the ball on the floor a little bit now. I'm just going to keep, keep working on that stuff. But being a leader is, is the main thing, trying to bring the team to, to win. I like to win, so I want to win. So just showing that I could be that guy to help winning. And uh, you had a practice in with Coloco. Fans are extremely excited about him. What have you seen from that young man? Very high, like very high energy. You know, he's tall, lengthy, he could jump. This guy is crazy. Um, but, yeah, I, I think he's a, great, he's a great player. And, and he's energetic and he's ready to play. So that, that's, the, that's the main part. All right. Thank you. Shout out to Delano. Yeah, Delano's my son. Just to put, put that on NBA TV. <laughs> okay, we got one more question just for Delano. So this one is going to be about camaraderie and building. Wow, I'm getting put on blast. Okay, so there are some allegations that potentially Delano Banton may have at one time or another sunned you and has extended that relationship. Is this true? No. He is my son. <laughs> Fully my son. If you guys go look on the Raptors page, all right? You guys nuts. <laughs>